light coming at you. It is Thursday, the 14th of April, and I've been out picking today, and it's been a while. You know, we've had a real long winter here in Minnesota. I can't tell you how much snow. Uh, I definitely would say in the last 15 years, definitely the most I've ever seen. It was just a nightmare. Anyway, it's taken forever to get back out in the streets, how I like to do picking, and that's really where my videos I always want to go back, I want to go back to with, and that's getting out in the street. The guy that can get out there and pick, he can dumpster dive, he, he, he can um, adjust to the situation, basically. In winter times, you have to hit more thrift stores, uh, hopefully uh, uh, an estate sale, and maybe you get lucky every now and then through Craigslist and such, hunting the ads, looking to flip something to make some money. But in the summertime, when you've got clear roads, it's dry out, especially right now in the spring, because people have a hair up in their hair up their butt every year this time. Over and over again, I see it. People, after a long winter, they're cooped up. They just start throwing things out. They don't care what it is, where it is. Now, I went out today, and I tell you, I've been hitting it. My knees are sore. My muscles are sore. I'm pretty beat down right now, but I'm showered. I got the van unloaded. I got a couple of big pieces I can't even show you that I got earlier today, but I was over in St. Paul, and I found a dumpster today. Oh, it was to die for. It was heaven. It was about 10 feet tall. I was bouncing in and out of that thing about 10, 15 times. So my knees are aching. I got some treasures and I'm going to show them to you. Let's check it out. First look, we're going to give you a wide angle of everything. And we're going to go through it slowly. And then maybe I'll just zoom in on a couple of pieces and spe specifically. I like this, this clock here in this handmade uh, wood box. It says uh, Finney Walker. It almost looks like it would have come coming out of a, an airplane. Here's another piece of pottery. Look at this bottle here. Beautiful. All these pieces, hand painted. This painting is dated 1948. Got all these uh, clocks. These beautiful jugs that we're going to do research on and dig into. Some flow blue. Some real dirty Vaseline glass. A couple old irons. Interesting still. An old farm tool. Look at the patina on that wood. You gotta love it. Nice uh, Mission Oak uh, shelf, uh, vase. I, I'm not even going to show you. I'm just too excited myself. And then also over here, let's see if we can turn these lights on. I got a box. And now in this box, I've got all kinds of miscellaneous crap. Nothing too fancy, maybe. But some nice old gloves. A stack of books. And like I said, I've got another crock that's in there that was huge. But it was broken. I was just... I was devastated. All this stuff, let me set that back up here and see if we can't finish it up here. All this stuff was in a dumpster over in St. Paul. And it's amazing when you see this kind of stuff showing up in a dumpster. And it happens. Don't be fooled. Uh, let them laugh all they want. I'll tell you what, this is how you're going to find stuff. This is how you're going to save things. If this isn't saved, this stuff is powdered. It's not going to take even one dump at the dump. It's gone. I found most of this stuff buried. I dug deep and I dug hard for over an hour and a half with a hard hat on. Good Lord, if this couch had fallen on me, it probably would have broke my back. But I don't, uh, I, that's what you kind of got to go with. I don't want to say, you got to be careful. I'm a little uh, wild at times, but uh, score. I'm going to clean this stuff up, really scope it out and break it down. I got some great pieces I didn't show you. I'll get you later. Peace out. Metal Mike coming at you. Get out there and get picking.